In Sweden, the maritime sector has always played a vital role in our society. And it is important that the shipping industry always evolves to meet future demands. In 2006, research and education in shipping, marine technology and shipping business was on an all-time low in Sweden. Something had to be done. So two universities in Gothenburg joined forces with the Swedish Shipowners Association. The universities received 100 million Swedish kroner, and they created Lighthouse, a competence and research center that had the objective to strengthen the maritime research and education during a 10-year period. During the coming years, new partners joined and contributed with funds to the Lighthouse ship, and off it sailed. The research in Lighthouse has been conducted in six areas. Together, they have covered a broad range of the maritime sector, from shipping, marine technology, environment, business and logistics, to maritime informatics, human factors, and so on. In several cases, projects have been interdisciplinary, creating effective ways to find effective solutions, such as Gotris, a project developing a traffic management system for ships on the Jutta River and other projects such as the development of a unique method for fatigue analysis combined with ship routing. Ship H is one of the projects that are looking at new marine fuels, their emissions and how to reduce the emissions. We have F Ship which looked at several different aspects of energy efficiency and marine fuels. Moonin, with research in unmanned ships, which is seen as an important element to meet future demands on the increasing transportations at sea. And SMAX, with the primary objective to develop a safety and survival training program specifically focused on the needs of small craft Arctic mariners. Another important project have concerned air cavity ships, creating a revolutionary way to reduce friction from the hull by making an air-filled cavity in the bottom of the ship. To cope with modern research and education in the maritime sector, it was necessary to invest in new technology. Lighthouse has been an important financier of a comprehensive maritime simulator center with several bridge simulators, engine simulator, cargo operation simulator and more, giving new excellent possibilities for research, education and continuing training for shipping personnel. The 100 million Swedish kroner initially invested has upshifted approximately 2.5 times directly and 9 times indirectly. By 2015, which marks the end of the first phase, over 50 PhD students have been co-financed, more than 500 scientific papers have been published and Lighthouse has been involved in over 100 research projects and has established new research areas. During the same time, the research and education within the maritime field also grew stronger at other academies in Sweden. At the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, the naval architect field is well-renowned, and the Linnaeus University in Kalmar has built up research and development within maritime science. Now, both these universities have become partners of the new phase of Lighthouse. In January 2015, Lighthouse's new phase as a national platform for research, development and innovation was formed as the existing partners were joined by new actors from different areas of the Swedish maritime sphere. Thus, a broad triple helix union with academies, organizations, companies and the public sector was created. By gathering all these actors and welcoming others to join, Lighthouse new phase as a national competence center has a solid base to stand on and the Swedish maritime sector has a hull to thrive in.